a herd of zebra because that's the well, the most prominent animal that we're seeing at the moment. I don't know where the wildebeest have gone. Perhaps they've gone back towards Tanzania. And hopefully we'll have lots and lots of elephants. But as you know, this is the live internet show. Hello, everybody. My name is Taylor, and on camera with me today, doing his interview officially, I'm going to give you his real name, and then I'm going to give you his nickname as well, is Jahawi. Cool name, don't you think? Uh, but we're going to call him Ja. Well, that's what he's fondly known as. And I know you're all desperate and dying to have a look at what Ja looks like. So are you ready? Are you ready to see the man behind the camera? Here we go. The stage is yours. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> there we go. So that is who is going to be doing all the filming today. Now, like I was saying, this is live. This is interactive. It's happening right now. So hashtag Safari Live on Twitter, or you can chat to us on, of course, the YouTube chat. Now, um, I've been eaten by midges at the moment. They're not particularly nice. One has bitten me on my forehead. It's not great. And they're swarming around us. And one thing I'm a little bit disappointed about with Kenya, I must admit, is there's no guari trees. What am I going to swap the midges and the flies with? I don't have a tail like a zebra. I don't think the young lion cubs would offer up one of the zebra wildebeest tails as their toys. I think that would be a bit rude. But anyways, we're going to try and find some lions. I just want to quickly check. I have to use my GPS, but it's not working. I have to just quickly see whereabouts we are. No, so it's not working. I thought it was this tree line, in fact. But we will give it a bash because when we found them after the show, we were on the opposite side of the drainage line. I don't want to go opposite the drainage line. I want to go on the side that they are just because it will be, well, a lot easier to view them because they were very far away. So it's a tricky one. So I don't really know what to do. Maybe we'll just go up the old spot where we had seen them and look from the distance because there were lots of buffalo there were lots of zebra in the area so another thing that could have happened is perhaps those lions are will maybe make a move and then we won't need to go anywhere then we can just stay on the western side of the drainage so well, that's also fine alice anyone still there i'm not convinced i have comms now Right, so we're just going to bumble about. We've got a little bit of a way to go before we find the lines, if they are even still in the same spot. It's been quite cool for most of the day.